Talk to me now, Bill. Sure. This is our little coin flipper here. What we're trying to illustrate is that if you know the conditions going into it, the, into the launching of a coin, if you know very accurately all the parameters that give rise to a flip, you can change the outcome of that flip. So we're going to now see how how often it comes up heads or tails wow. by using a niobium magnet, or neodymium, I think it's called. Uh, let's see, we want to hit the metal here, don't we? That was the heads, huh? Okay. I hope I put that in there right. Dealing with coefficient of friction between the 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 firing pin and the and the trigger, yeah. you get that to where you let that help you, makes it easier oh. easier to to get away with to it. release See? it. So that that there's a lot in the in the uh, relationship between the firing pin and the trigger mechanism uh, that you can play with. Huh. And you're and you're going to be. It isn't just a sharp, yeah, with a, a catch. sharp point that you pull off of. You can you can make that into an inclined surface. Uh -huh. where the the matters of friction. You have a real highly polished pieces, and boy, you could make that trigger so so damn uh, dangerous that it would go off just too easy. Uh huh. All right, let's try this right, again. Now. Right. now we got a sitting heads here. We got a heads down here. There you go. Yep. 